guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here welcome to my channel and my name is Allison so for today's video I want to create a fall look so this is what it looks like on my makeup look and in the Bay Area, I already experienced fall. It's coming, slowly coming into this month. And I don't know how about LA, how you guys feel about fall and the weather over there. I feel like it's still like a summertime, probably. But I feel like this look, it really suits the fall time look. Or you can actually wear it during the winter time, plus with this lipstick right here and if you guys are comfortable wearing this lip color you do you i really like this look i really like how this combination here my eye look with my lips because i don't usually do much of a yellow tone on my eye but today i go overboard and i just did a lot of experiment and i just that out of my comfort zone usually i don't do much with my face on a makeup look but today this is what it looks like i really have fun creating this look and this look is actually inspired by a youtuber her name is rosette ariza and this is her youtube channel i really like her videos and all her makeup looks and i really like her personality and her vibe she just have a lot of energy i really like her so this is the look that i got inspired from watching her channel so if you guys want to see how I create this look then let's keep on watching yeah, So I don't have any idea how this is gonna turn out and I'm just gonna go with the flow and get some inspiration So first of all, I'm just gonna prime my face with this matte paint pot in soft ochre And this is what the shit looks like. I'm just gonna use a flat brush Damp the product and apply it on my eyelid And one thing about having eyelash extension you don't want to do much eyeshadow but today I'm just feel like it because fall is almost here and today I'll be doing a yellow shade on my eyelid so that's a very interesting look gonna be because usually I do a lot of warm tone and I never do any colors on my eyelid because first I'm not good at putting on eyeshadow with the technique and with the little eye space that I have it doesn't have much creation that I can do on my eyelid but today we're going in and I hope everything turns out good and the reason I'm going it down because I do have eyelash extension and it's pretty hard to apply any product on my eyelid since it has a curl a stronger curl on my eyelash now okay so first color on my crease I'm gonna put this brownish shade color like a warm brown tone color this is from Patrick Star crossover MAC eyeshadow in glam AF so I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna put it right on the crease on my eye and I'm applying this on the crease on my eye and using a windshield wiper motion to blend this color and just give some color on the eyelid before applying some yellow on top of it. And now I'm going into this color right here, slightly darker shade on the crease color with my pencil brush here and just put it on where my crease socket, like where it's dark. And by the way, this palette is from Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I know it looks crazy at first, but once it's blend out, it looks fine. So this dipper color shade, I just want to dip in out the um, this crease on my eye area. Okay, I feel like I have to take this jacket off. It's just blocking my hand doing a lot of work because it does have the really big sleeve on my hand. I just gotta take this off. And now I'm gonna go in with the clean brush right here to blend out any harsh line. Just to make it look more natural. Okay, and moving on to the darkest shade here this is like the darkest brown on the palette and tap off the excess i'm gonna put this mainly on the outside corner of my eye like this and just start blending it in upward on the outer crease and if it's not perfect right here then later on we can use any concealer to conceal that and if you guys watch me Long enough, you guys know I usually do my face makeup first before using my eyeshadow or going into my eyeshadow because I like start with a good base to see what it looks like on my eyeshadow. And because today this eye look it involves a lot of color than what I usually normally do on my eye look, so I don't want any fallout that it drops down to my face area. It's hard to clean it up, so today I just decided to start it with my eye first 
and if it's too harsh of the color i'm just gonna go with the clean brush and if it's a little too pigmented or too dark for the outer corner i'm using my clean brush to clean off the color so it looks more soft looking and now i'm gonna cut that crease i normally don't do much on cut crease on my eye look so this is a little nervous for me honestly so i'm using a flat brush mac 248 and i'm gonna cut it right in the middle of my eyelid and i really hope i know where to stop because Again, I normally don't do this much. And one thing is really hard to work with my eyelash extension because it gets everywhere, I swear. So this step is all about patience. I have one eyelash just fall. You just have to be really be careful. Okay, I hope I did it right. It's just like right above my double eyelid line right here so that when the color is on top, you can see even though my eyes are open. This part literally takes the longest on my eye look. Okay, the eyelid cut crease is done. Hopefully this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, now the most exciting part is putting this yellow shade right on the center of my eye. Hopefully this works. So I'm just gonna pat this on, on my eyelid. I think they're about the same. Okay, I did warm up my crease just a little with this more of a light warm tone shade. Because I know a lot of warm tone doesn't work usually the same on different kind of skin tones. So I feel like this shade would match on my crease better. And it just gives me more of a color warm tone instead of the color that I use. is a little bit too um, brownish tone, I feel like. So there's a lot of experience over here just to see what color, what shade it matches your skin tone. And I'm gonna dip that into the darkest brown shade on the crease so that we can blend that yellow in seamlessly. And I'm using like a padding motion and lightly blend it with the yellow color on my eyelid. And sometimes I feel like you can intensify the yellow shade if it's not as intense as you would like it and again i'm going in with the fluffy clean brush going in and blend this out and i swear i look really crazy right now with the yellow eyeshadow without any makeup on top but once everything it's on it's gonna look put together it's gonna look good so now moving on to my favorite part my face makeup and that's like something that is really important because face if you start it nice everything looks good so now i'm gonna start it out with this for sally unicorn serum as my primer and i'm just gonna do what everyone is doing on the instagram just putting this letter on over my face and rub it in with my finger and underneath my eye i already applied this becca under eye brightening corrector this is what it's underneath it brightens up my darkness underneath my eyes so that i look more awake when i apply my concealer moving on i'm using this nyx can start won't stop full coverage foundation and i already did this foundation reveal and i'm gonna link it up so that you guys can check it out and see how I wear this throughout the day. And I'm just gonna give it a nice shake and pump it on the back of my hand. And by the way, I got the new shade here. I got the shade in medium olive and hopefully this matches my skin tone. I'm just gonna dot all this foundation over my face. And today to blend this foundation out, I'm gonna using this fluffy sponge and if you guys watch nikki tutorials you guys may already know what it is and this sponge it just gives you a very nice full coverage and it does have this little kind of like microfiber texture it's like really weird of a sponge i never experienced that and this is from the brand juno and when i close up you guys can see the fluffiness and the microfiber on top of this sponge which I feel like is really interesting to me of a sponge like this. So I'm gonna use the bottom part of this sponge to blend this foundation out. And I will say this sponge is um, more of a dense part. Because if you guys know me, I use my Morphe sponge all the time. And this is more squeezy one, but this is like 
a little bit stiffer but it does give you a very nice full coverage than my Morphe sponge. I already used this once and I do like it just for my foundation. I don't like it as a concealer, blender. And patting it on my skin, it feels so weird with the little fussiness on the sponge. So this is one side of my face with the foundation on and it looks super flawless, my finish and this side of my face still shiny little glow on top of my skin and it just looks so flawless on this side compared to this side but now I'm just gonna finish up on this side of my face here you guys hear the puffing noise on this sponge it's really loud pouncing this on my face so this foundation is already a full coverage foundation and with this sponge, it gives me like a full, full bulletproof full coverage foundation and I just really like it. I'm digging it. Okay, now moving on to my concealer. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just gonna dot three dots on each eye and I'm going back with my Morphe sponge because that's the way that I like to use on my concealer. And I'm just gonna blend the concealer up to my eye area to cut that so that the concealer and the eyeshadow looks good. And while blending this, I like to cut my concealer up right here on the edge of my eye so that the eyeshadow doesn't look spread out. Just kind of cut that corner with the concealer. There you go, it looks perfect. Okay, now I'm moving on to setting my face. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm almost out of it. Let's see if I can get everything out of this bottle. So what I like to do, I like to dip my wet sponge into this container and then I pat it on the back of my hand so that it doesn't get too kicky underneath my eye area or too dry and just lightly dab it on this area of my face and sometimes I like to dab the sponge on the edge side so that it gets to my nose area just give it a nice snatch nose and same thing with the rest of my face I'm just gonna pack off the excess on the back of my hand and put it all over my face but then if you guys don't have oily skin you guys don't have to set your face with the powder but I do have oily skin and I need something that it lasts on my face so this would be the technique I use every single day I need to do it it's not like something that it makes my makeup looks perfect it's just something that i need something to hold it on my oily skin okay now define my brow i'm using this benefit brow contour pro and this has been my favorite brow pencil lately because it does everything and it define your brow it does highlight everything so it's like a four in one brow product so i like to start at the beginning and draw out my brow shape and then fill in right in the middle section and then going in with a darkest brown shade here and define my tail and to define my brow i'm using the brush to blend out the defined brow shade to blend it with my foundation and also blend it the highlight shade underneath the brow arch and now i'm going in with this brow gel from benefit give me brow in the shade number five just give a lift on my hair brow and moving on to my face i'm using this contour from kevin aquan this is a sculpting powder in the shade number actually the shade it's called medium get that cheekbones out there define my cheekbones and make my face a lot slimmer looking one swipe like blending it you guys can see the difference on this side of my face and this side of my face so contour is done now we're on to the face i'm using this laura gala blush and brighten sun sweep shade and i'm just gonna dip my sonia cashew brush very light-handed because this color is a little bit intense and now move on to the highlighter i'm using this dior highlighter and this is in the shade 02 it's called dior skin nude luminizer and it does smells like dior perfume it's crazy that it smells like the fragrance so i'm just gonna put this on my high points of the cheek and give it that little nice swipe and then on my bridge of the nose same thing on my cube as well
and I'm just gonna brush my eyelash back together in the right place with my spoolie right here so that I don't have to apply falsies that's something that I like it during the weekdays because I don't do much on my eye I only do my face and my brow and that's it and I'm good to go so I don't have to do any eyelash eyeliners it saves times okay and because this is a fall look so today we are incorporating some dark shades on the lips color so this is from Smashbox in the shade True Greed and this is a super fall color I like it I'm just gonna put this all over my lip look at that it looks so fall and the vibe here is crazy going back to the eye I want to use this shade right here the gold freaky shade and just go in just right little underneath the teardrops it just live up your eye area and for my lower lash line I'm going back with the first shade right here that I use on my eye just put it right below your eyelash and I'm also going with the darkest shade here so you're basically going with the color that you put on your eye and going back to your under eye corner so that it kind of like combines the look together so for the last step, I'm going to set it with my Matte Fix Plus a matte formula. Okay guys, so this is the look that I create here. It looks super fampy and this is actually the look that I really like during the fall time or winter time. Anytime that you want to carry this look and I'm really digging this yellow eyeshadow look and matching with all this lip color and with the black t-shirt. It's just super fampy looking. So this is more like an experiment of a makeup look and I am really enjoy creating this look together and I hope you guys do enjoy watching as well. Thanks for watching this video, having fun with me create this look because I never do a cut crease look on my eye because I do have so little space here to work with so usually I'm just trying to avoid doing a lot of crazy eyeshadow look but with this look I'm really digging it and if you guys do want to watch more of this kind of recreation or getting more of a different kind of makeup look then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye